Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. Does your toilet in your camper not hold water? Well, currently, ours does not either. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, I'm going to do so by installing this bowl seal kit. So, I purchased this on Amazon. Uh, I think it was 25 bucks. I'll put it in there how much it was, but I'll put a link down below in the description too so you can check it out. Now this may not fit everybody's toilet, but it's going to fit ours. But I've tried everything with my old uh, seal. Um, I've tried cleaning it. I've tried putting some lubricant on there. And no matter what I do, our toilet simply does just not hold water. So this is a super easy fix. It doesn't take more than maybe 20 minutes and uh, just a couple tools. So let's go ahead and get going with it. So as I said, this project is pretty simple and you don't really need many tools. I have a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver, a small socket drive with a 5 16 socket. Uh, also definitely want to have some rubber gloves, a trash bag, some paper towels, and then some disinfecting wipes or some type of cleaner. So a couple things that you want to do in preparation for this, if you have a black tank flush, I would highly recommend doing that. Uh, it just makes the experience a little bit more pleasant uh, when you're not smelling gassy fumes and whatnot. So definitely do that. Um, it's also a good idea just to clean your toilet and everything around it. Again, just kind of helps out and makes things a little bit more pleasant. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your water pump is turned off. Second thing that you want to do is take the water supply off of your tank. Ours is very simple and you just push off and out right here. The third thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen up this clamp that's on the base here with my socket set on that screw. It's rubber glove time. All right, so now that we have this clamp loosened, we have these two plastic pieces down here that actually just kind of pop off. And then once that's off, then the toilet, the top part just comes off. And this is where it helps to have your um, paper towels, because as you can see, I'm dripping uh, some water. Luckily, it's clean water. All right, so this is where we're going to use a trash bag. We got everything dried off. And again, for our setup here, it's a two-parter. We got this plastic outer piece, and then we have the seal right here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this off. Boom. That guy's going to go right in the trash. Okay, again, this is a super easy install, and one thing that is good to do is just make sure that your ball is uh, moving around properly, and that it's good and clean as well. So it's going to slide over just like so. And it looks like if you look at it, the circumference here of the circle, I think that's circumference, <laughs> of the old one versus the new one, this is definitely tighter. I can tell just by visually looking at it, it's a lot better. So that's pretty much it. So now we're going to go ahead and just piece everything back together. When you are realigning this, you do want to make sure that your toilet is straight. It's also a good idea just to open things up and make sure that everything is still centered. And then it's also a good idea to check to make sure that your ball is, uh, is moving properly and everything's working. And then just uh, snug her up. Go ahead and put our water back in. Boom. Now that we're all done, we're going to turn our water pump back on. 
Now it's the moment of truth. Will she hold water? So that is it guys. So again, this is a, a pretty darn easy project. Only took me maybe 15, 20 minutes while filming. So it'll probably take you even less time. But uh, one other thing that's a good idea, you can get some stuff, which I'm, I'm actually waiting for to come in on Amazon that you pour in your tank and it just kind of helps seal the rubber seal up a little bit better and you're supposed to do that a few times a year so again i'll put a link to that in the description below you can check that out and i'm just waiting for mine to come in and i'm going to add that in so thanks a lot for checking out my video good luck with your project hopefully your toilet doesn't leak anymore after this uh, consider subscribing to my channel see more videos like this and i look forward to seeing you in the next video